How do you use the internet? What do you do on the net? Where is the internet? You have the internet, for example, in your computer, mobile, and your tablet, of course. You can play games, listen to music, search for pages, and watch films. But really, the internet is the world's largest network of computers and exists all over the planet. Except in some remote places. For example, the South Pole. Okay, but how does it all fit together? At home you might have a small network without wires, but it is still connected to the internet by a cable. An internet cable. Usually your home is connected to the internet by a wire that is buried in the ground to a cabinet where many wires are connected to a large internet cable. You can also connect with a mobile without wires and then signals are sent to and from your mobile through a mobile mast, which is then connected to an internet cable. When you use the internet, your device is part of the internet network. The internet cables in the ground form a network. These small networks are interconnected with larger networks and then further all over the world with the help of wires that send information super fast. Are you wondering how fast? nearly five times around the Earth per second. Because it's light in these large internet cables that send the information, which we usually call internet traffic. One second. Can I send a cheese sandwich over the internet? No, because the things that are sent on the internet are called digital information and are made up of ones and zeros. Computers and computer programs translate the ones and zeros so that you can see, hear, and use the information. If you want to check out web pages, send and receive messages, create a site and write a blog, upload pictures, play games, watch movies, listen to music, and many other things. On the internet, there are millions of computers called servers. Contained in the servers are things like websites or huge game worlds. It is common to have many servers connected in large data centers, but it's also possible to have a server at home or at work. The large computers and servers can talk with each other, but they do not speak in a normal language like English. Instead, they send numbers and codes to each other. The good thing about this is that a computer in Sweden can understand a computer in Japan, even though the people speak different languages. If you want to check out a website, a kind of question is sent from your computer to a server on the internet that answers. The server that answers can be located anywhere in the world. Then the website is sent to your computer, and you can see it and click on it. How can a website find the right place on the internet and arrive on my computer? That's because all appliances that are connected to the internet, like computers, mobiles, and servers, have their own address. It's like the house you live in. It also has its own address so that you can receive mail and people can visit you. All appliances that are connected to the internet have their own address. You can also say that internet addresses are like telephone numbers. The right number in the right order make the computers and mobiles able to find each other on the internet. It's like calling a telephone number and having someone answer. IP addresses are like telephone numbers. Do you remember that computers on the internet talk with numbers and codes? Good. An address to a computer that is connected to the internet can look like this. The number addresses on the internet are called IP addresses. IP addresses are quite long. It can be 91.226.36.46. Well, you get it. Complicated, right? You can't read and remember so many numbers and points. That is why computers translate number addresses to letters. As people, we read and talk with words and letters, not with numbers. If you write or click on a link to a web address, your computer then contacts the right server with help of the Internet's address registry. But actually, the address is translated to a set of numbers and points. 
Addresses on the internet can be short, like iis.se, or long, like www.technicamuseet.se. An address with letters instead of numbers is called a domain name. It is the servers that have domain names, not the computer, mobile, or tablet. There are around 250 million domain names in the world. In other words, there is unbelievably much to discover on the internet. Addresses that end in .se have a connection to Sweden, and there are around 1.3 million .se addresses. There are also other addresses that end with two letters that show which country a site has as its home. To take some examples, Danish websites often have .dk at the end, while many sites in Finland end with .fi, and in Norway they use .no. All the countries in the world have a similar letter code. They're called top-level domains. The abbreviation at the end of an internet address, like .se, is called a top-level domain, and there are over 300 different top-level domains in the world. But there are more types of addresses on the net. Have you seen addresses that end in .com, .net, or .org? These are addresses that do not indicate where in the world the server is located, but which can be found anywhere. The island of Niue has the country top-level domain .nu, which is used in the same way since the word nu means now in both Swedish and Dutch. Now to summarize a bit. The net is easy to use because there is a system with addresses so that you can always find the right way on the internet. The internet is a large network of internet cables and computers that make it possible for appliances to send information between each other, but some routes can go through the air. On the net, you can send and receive information. Everything is translated by computers from ones and zeros to messages, pictures, films, music, or games. All appliances, like computers, servers, and tablets, that are connected to the internet can be found through their IP addresses and the internet's address register. A website has a real name, a so-called domain name, and an IP address. The Swedish top-level domain is called .se. There are over 300 top-level domains in the world that are tied to a country. There you go! Now you know a little more about the global computer network called the Internet, which is used by 2.7 billion people. Have fun on the Internet! Thank <laughs> you.